hello friends welcome back to laravel 9 tutorial in this video we are going to discuss about how to export data into the excel format okay so last day we discussed about how to export data using pdf and i already discussed the code application and already discussed small small part so this is the student list i already created and published that video also you can check my playlist for uh, all the video and the playlist link are provided in the description section right so today we'll going to show you how to export data into the excel format suppose these are the data actually these are coming from this table and uh, it's actually dynamically coming right now i need to export that data so there are lots of uh, different different package in laravel to export uh, excel data now i want to show you the most popular things or one of the um, popular uh, package so i will use the laravel mat website okay mat website this is the package we can download easily uh, any excel data right so we can export uh, data easily so this is the uh, laravel mat website package and now i'm going to install that package into our application so you can uh, check this link or uh, this is the reference link and you will get all the process and all the things you can uh, study and um, export your own things easily and you will get the more features i i will show you <coughs> i will show you the basic part and i will show you how to install and how to configure into your application so right now just go to the installation part and simply i will install the mat website using the composer package so simply just go here and uh, let's stop the server and paste it here so composer require mat website excel this is the installing and uh, the version is 3.1 okay so it will automatically get your version what actually comfortable now these are things and publishing complete the next thing is i need to configure into my application so here if you just go to the application per inside the app there is a configuration and inside the configuration there is app.php right now there you will get the two things one is the provider path here we need to add all the providers link in this way right and there is another this is the aliases path actually using aliases name will use into our application okay so if you just check the website you can see the providers link here and just copy and paste it into the provider array just add a comma and paste another and i will add this aliases name that is the excel and this link actually using this excel will call from our controller right so these are added now i to publish right so if you just go here to publish the config run the vendor publish comment so simply just copy all the things and now paste it so it's copied file from vendor mat website excel config excel.php to config.excel.php okay now if you just go here you can see inside the config you will get a new file that is excel.php this are uh, new added okay so here you can configure your application this is the chunk size free calculation for, uh, formulas and all the thing you will get from here okay so you can configure and check your own and there you will get all the things and uh, all the things are written here okay so now here we need to create a export class so using that class we will basically export uh, the data using the mat website or in a excel format right so now just go here and here i need another things we need to make a export class so php artisan make export okay and here i want to export the uh, what will be the my class name so i want to create a class that is a student export okay so this is the class name and i will use the model okay so using the student model actually we are getting all the data from here so just go into the controller and here is the path of app models student so simply i specifying the model name there is the model equal to that things okay 
app model students so let's enter this so export created successfully all right so what actually happened so now just to go to the visual studio code and here inside the app inside the app you will get another uh, folder that is the export folder where is the export folder okay inside the app there is exports folder and you will get the student export this is the new class okay and there is a function that is the collection right so here actually by default uh, app models app model student so there is no app model student here i have a uh, the student model so uh, just app model student so simply just write here student okay so this will be my model path i am just uh, correcting my model path sometimes it may uh, appear as a different right now here we have a from collection and there is a collection so we need to uh, call from here so now just create a header actually which will appear in the excel file so simply uh, just uh, go to here and create a function public function and suppose just write a heading h a d a heading and simply use uh, array okay and inside the array what will actually appear so we will return some data uh, just like um, we need uh, what actually have in database id name email phone address so simply just uh, write here id okay so heading can be capital okay id name or you can write full name whatever actually this will be the heading and then the email uh sorry email phone address phone address uh, phone address a d d r e s s okay so this is the export array and now just uh, go to the model so we need to face the data so just go to the model this is the apps model student so simply uh, model student okay so i am here now i need a function where we will get all the student data and actually this function will call from the student exports so this is the proper way to call right so uh, just use this right so it, it will be good practice to use the proper method it will get um, help right now here i just creating a function to fetch all the student record so simply uh, write public uh, function and we can create a static function so simply write static public static function get all student right and here just uh, declare a variable where we will store all the records result and i want to use the db here so simply write use db using db will fetch all the record and simply use that db and mention the table name okay so what is my table name yeah my table name is students so just copy this and paste it here and i want to get the record uh, from id so simply what actually we have this is the column name actually id name uh, there should be in invite comma id name then email email then uh, phone uh, then finally address okay one two three four five selecting and we are printing in five different columns id name email phone address id name email phone email address okay so these are the selecting and now just to write the get to get all the record and i want to get all the record in a array format so make it to array great okay and finally we need to return the result return result great so using that function we will get all the student record with this column right and we can call this from anywhere so that we will get the student record from anywhere okay so just go to the 
uh, student export again so here I just uh, going to call this uh, get all student function so simply we are using the app models student now here I just uh, closing the default section I just creating my own so simply write return and write collect so where we will uh, collect the data c-o-l-l-e-c-t okay correct word now just use the student so actually we are calling the student that's the reason actually we are uh, getting access of student and we will call the function get all student if you need you can pass a parameter for searching for limiting any things and with on um, that things we you can filter your query also i am just uh, going to discuss about the simple things how you can uh, actually do this okay so return uh, get all student data right now here one uh, another thing using mat website we are calling the header so we need to call the header concerns so simply write here uh, from collection and the width heading with heading okay headings and just add here that will all implements right so all part is done so student export function is uh, calling this and it will generating the excel file with this heading and this record is getting from the student model okay now i need to create a controller function from where actually we'll get the data so simply i just creating another function public function suppose export excel okay so this is the function and here i just uh, uh, going to write uh, this function and before that before using the excel we need to uh, call the excel so simply write use excel and another thing i am calling the student export uh, class so we need to export that things also so app uh, app exports uh, use a uh, better just call here also it will be good uh, use app exports this is the namespace and the class name student export okay so i am going to use that things now uh, here in the export excel section and just uh, i just are going to return uh, the excel first i am just uh, calling this excel which actually i included here excel and then i will call the download method download and just write a new student export actually this is the class i created for export purpose and when you download what will be the uh, file name that is a student excel right dot the extension xlsx okay so this is the extension this will be the file name okay now just uh, call this function we need to call this you know so just go to the web.php and uh, create another function uh, in this way simple just get a method and here my method name is export excel so just write here export excel and excel export okay so all are ready now just uh, go to the uh, this link and then we can see how it's e exporting before that we need to start our application php artisan serve um serve. okay so application started now refresh this there is no problem and i am just uh, going to hit that link so the error is uh, one abstract method and must therefore be declared abstract or implement the remaining with headings uh, scope headings okay so that should be the headings in the student export functions yes this is the mistake i did and now just go again and try to export so simply just refresh this and try again in the student export okay excel export so hit this student excel dot xls is downloaded so just open this and let's see what appearing so now here you can see the uh, id name email uh, phone and address is 
properly download it okay so this is uh, uh, all about the excel download option so this is very simple so you can understand how you can export excel using uh, the mat website so still if you have any questions about this video you can comment in a below comment section and next day we are going to uh, discuss about another important things that is the reverse of this excel uh, that is we are going to discuss about import data from excel means uh, we will have some data and we will import through a uh, laravel page okay and it will import into the database so hope you will like this video so before that please uh, like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day bye